morning from Sakuza, day five. Um, we did a, our trip this morning was, I don't want to say Departure. short and sweet, yeah, but we chose um, uh, a route that is um, famous on the Sabi Loop. Yeah, on the Sabi Loop. And um, it is recommended that it will take about two hours, but of course we managed to take about four hours. There are fewer things more special than a sunrise in the bushveld and this morning we were truly treated to a beautiful morning.
but um, yeah, some cool sightings. Uh, hyenas almost straight out the gate. Um, lots of small things. Yeah, we are. Uh, we arrived moments before a leopard had dragged a after sorry uh, dragged a kill across the road, and then it just went into the brush and it was gone, not to be seen again. It's a small disappointment, but uh, you can't guarantee it. That's the. Uh, well, I think we're gonna go out and do the same route again this evening. Let's see if we can kind of do like a resident. Yeah. So we'll we're gonna go to try some spot again. Yeah, but um, yeah, a lot of cool small things. Uh, to what are they? African barred owlets in the oh, tree. So nice. um, perfect so viewing tiny. too. Yeah, and um, yeah, it, it's, it was a bit of a bird day too. And now we're actually just walking through. These are the chalets. I'll show you guys. So these little like on Davos, yeah, and Sakusa. But um, really, just yeah, we're, really we're yeah, we're just going on a walk. We're doing a bit of birding, we're attempting to, and we'll brush up on our birding skills. Yeah, and just seeing what it's all about. We came across this little hero's acre and loved the history of all the pets that have lived in the Kruger National Park. When working in the bush with his or her master, they sometimes manage to divert a dangerous animal's attention in order to allow enough time for the master to take the necessary action to safeguard lives. Many of these pets died in their efforts to save lives while others died of old age. The close bond that existed between the animal and its master is evident in these headstones. taken more than a few loops around the same two or three roads but our persistence finally paid off and we got to see the leopard that we had missed this morning. Even though we had to share the sighting with a few other cars we all had our own great viewing spot and enjoyed every minute we got to spend with this leopard. Unfortunately for us we were about to be humbled by our amateur videography skills and not to mention putting our relationship to the test. We had every intention of capturing a much anticipated thrilling encounter with this leopard However, amusingly, we managed to do the exact opposite. Lee, maybe have the GoPro ready because if he has a go at the guinea fowl, that would be quite cool. Because he's definitely interested in them. Okay. Ooh. Is that the top of your screen? 
sorry. No, he's not. He's there, probably. I knew he was showing us. Um, he's gone. He's gone. I knew he was showing the guinea pig interest. good game drive okay so we finally we saw the leopard we persevered we went up and down that road two three times we still didn't spot it someone else did but i think it wasn't there when we were there it was kind of like crawling around could have been maybe but it was really cool too we saw a leopard today which is great mm. and it was a nice i think but then we got back to camp and then we went through our cold box so we just wanted to check what was frozen what wasn't frozen kind of have to work with what happens with the cooler box and stuff the stuff frozen from tamburti to now some stuff at the bottom still completely rock frozen yeah they hold for about so four days good. it was just yeah. some of the stuff at the top so we're kind of just trying to make sure that we prolong everything and we've got all the unfrozen stuff now that we need to use up we're going to just do the chicken stir fry chicken stir fry pack and then I bought the two minute noodles, so I'm just going to do that. And then that's dinner. Super easy tonight. Yeah. The fire's going. I'll prep this and then dessert time. <laughs> Prepping dessert while listening to some crazy animal noises out there. I don't know there. if it's real or man-made though. Yeah. Maybe you guys were here in the video, but I don't know. Doing a... I don't even know what they're called. What are they? It's, it's a dessert that... Dessert. Yeah, I haven't done one in a long time. We used to do them as youngsters, but... You split the banana down the middle. And you stuff it... No, traditionally, it's dark chocolate. But, um... Leave one's hers with milk chocolate, which is cool, and then um, a little add on that we are going to try to do is the marshmallow bits wrapped in tin foil, nice and tight, and just thrown straight in the coals. Um, so let's try this. Like I said, it's been a long time since I did one of these, so hopefully, it works out like I remember. These desserts were delicious and highly recommended for an easy and dish-free sweet treat. It was a great way to end another beautiful day in the bush. We hope you are enjoying our Kruger vlog series so far. We are no experts when it comes to wildlife or the bush, so if we have misidentified anything, please don't hesitate to correct us in the comment section. Tomorrow, we spend the entire day out exploring the various routes around Skukuza and have a rather eventful day. If you enjoyed this video, please show some love by liking the video and leaving a comment. To avoid missing out on the next vlog, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you all in the next one.